Hello, welcome back to the channel. Richie here. Today we are talking again YSL.io. If you missed my first video, you can find it just up there. Well, up here, here's a little capture of it, where I explain basically it's an introduction to what YSL.io is. I tell you about the high yields that it can offer, okay, and the optimization that it offers. And I also tell you about the tokenomics of the platform. If you've already watched that, or you're just interested in getting into the price discovery, or which is essentially the pre-sale for the token, then this is a video for you. This is the second part. We're gonna get straight into it. And today we are talking about the price discovery. Okay, how much is this token gonna be worth? We're gonna find out how they're gonna calculate that. We are gonna talk a little bit about the uh, locked liquidity. What exactly is that? And why the YSL locked liquidity is very, very unique. Then I'm going to explain to you about the launch and how they're protecting the token and the platform with a lot of checks and balances which they're putting uh, in place. And I'm going to explain to you what they are and what you can expect once you're farming, how this will affect you as a farmer. And finally, we're going to have a look at their first audit, one of many, because YSL plans to get five of the things, five audits. That's their, that's their aim, which is impressive. It's great. So without further ado, let's get into this. If you do appreciate and enjoy this kind of content about farming, the way I break things down, you appreciate finding out about new things before anybody else does, then maybe subscribe because this is time sensitive content. It's essential sometimes to find out the information when it is available, yeah? You don't want to find out something a month or two months after it comes out, but you might be finding this video a couple months after because that's what happens on YouTube. So subscribe, right? Then you will find out and know whenever I do have new videos on new projects. This is the second video on YSL I'm doing. I will be doing a third one. And in that video, I will be actually getting into the price discovery, putting my money where my mouth is, okay? And that will be in a few days. So why don't you subscribe? And then you can see exactly how this is done. Right, thanks for that. Thanks for your time. Sorry about that. Plugging. <laughs> Let's go. The YSL price discovery, we're just gonna go through First, the basic information about it. The price discovery is from the 1st of July until the 30th of July. So the pre-sale is already ongoing. We have The pre-sale has two different parts. They have a private sale and they have a public sale. The private sale running till the 23rd and the public sale running for seven days. The public sale is ongoing as you are watching this video. So this is what we're going to concern ourselves with today. The the idea of the price discovery is to discover and find out what the price of the YSL and SYSL tokens are. These will be decided by the amount of capital which is put into the preset. We're gonna have a look at this. I'm gonna break it all down. This would be the price discovery details. Okay, so it's kind of like a cheat sheet for this. We have up there the July 1st to July 23rd. Uh, was a minimum deposit of $5,000 and a lock period of 750 days. The lock we're gonna get into later. So at the moment, we're having a look at the multipliers, then we'll look at the lock. We have then public sale 24th to 30th and a minimum deposit going down throughout these. So for example, on the 24th, it was 2,500, all the way down to the 29th where the minimum is $250. And the bonus multiplier going from two bonus multiplier all the way down to 1.2. As we can see there on the right hand side, we see the bonus multipliers going from 3x in the private sale all the way down from 2x to 1.2x and then 1x on the last day of the public sale. These bonus multipliers are given at the end of the price discovery. So for example, if someone puts in 5,000 during the private sale, that is a 3x multiplier, they'll get back 15,000 worth of SYSL at the end of the price discovery the user can withdraw the full amount after the discovery, but won't be able to move or sell the lock tokens. It unlocks on each new block over that lock period. But the user will be able to deposit these lock tokens within the SYSL vault. So what I mean there is once the vaults go live, the user will be able to deposit the 15K worth of SYSL into that vault. So for example, let's say on July the 29th, you decided to put in $1,000 into the price discovery, okay? That is a 1.2 multiplier, which would mean that you would get $1,200 worth of SYSL token at the end of the price discovery. 
Now, you cannot withdraw and sell or transfer these tokens, but because they are being linearly unlocked to you. The linear lock on the 29th is a 150 day linear lock. So for 150 days, you will be able to, you will buy block by block, these tokens will be released for you. If you do wish though, you can take that full amount, the $1,200 worth of SYSL upon the end of the price discovery phase, you can take all of that and put it into the SYSL vault, okay? You can do that, but you can only withdraw block by block. There is one more thing to talk about here, which would be kind of like gameplay. The tokens received by the user is locked accordingly to when they joined into the price discovery. So whenever you joined. The lock that you have can also be decreased. For example, if you went in on the 24th and that has a 750 day lock, and then you went in again on the 30th with a zero day lock, then you would actually be able to reduce your lock period. If you put 5,000 into the 24th and you took another $5,000 into the 30th, that would mean that actually your lock could get halved. So it's worth working mathematically like that, okay? So there I'm doing a very simple one by putting in 5,000 on the 24th and 5,000 on the 30th. That means that then you are basically in essence halving your lock period to 350 for all of it. So you can game play this a little bit as well. It's very interesting. So that is how this works. Now let's talk a little bit more about the lock system. There's a high probability of the price of the SYSL token going up in the first 30 days of launch, because as we talked in the last video, if you haven't checked that, you're gonna have to know about this, but basically the SYSL token is tied to the price of the liquidity pool, the lock liquidity. So the more people that use the platform, the higher the price of the SYSL token. Because most yield optimizers in their first month of launch usually see very high traffic. As new investors come in, they all want to try out the platform. It gets kind of hyped. Uh, there's a lot, usually a lot of social media talk about it. And this high activity and high traffic is going to push up the locked liquidity of YSL and BUSD, the locked liquidity that we're gonna talk about later. This means that the SYSL is pegged to the price of the locked liquidity. So that means that the price is probably going to rise with the activity on the farm, which is great too. Cause so now we have two things, right? We have, you've got an, you're going into a pre-sale where you're gonna get more tokens for a better price. But with that, this comes risk. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the checks and the balances that are put in place by YSL to make sure that the sell pressure of SYSL is not too hot, meaning that we can all profit more, okay? We don't just want to pump and dump, do we? No, we don't. No, we don't. This is called a linear lock, linear lock. The linear lock looking back to this chart would be this here, the lock period, the third column. If you got into the private sale where you did get the most tokens, you bought $5,000 worth of tokens for a 3x multiplier, then that's 750 days of linear lock. And then moving down from 750 days all the way down to 150 days. On the last day, July 30th, you'll notice that there is a no minimum deposit, but if I move my body a little bit, there's also a 1x multiplier, which basically is nothing, okay? That is no <laughs> multiplier. So actually the July 29th would be the last day to manage to get some kind of multiplier, 1.2x multiplier there. But then you can add that up because on July, this is kind of game theory, I guess. On July 30th, the minimum deposit is zero and the lock period is zero days. It's not locked. The lock period means that you can s harvest your tokens gradually. You cannot harvest everything at once. You can harvest a certain amount per block. They've broken it all down on the YSL docs page, okay? Where you can have a look at exactly the rate of the lock period and you can do the maths and figure this out, okay? But don't worry because although you can not harvest these locked tokens and, you know, sell them, you can farm with them. So you can use them to get more yield, but you have to wait for them to unlock gradually. This is one way in which YSL is trying to protect the token price, okay? So that it has a higher value, so that more people can benefit from it. This is 
pretty much. Um, and other things, you know, there. Are, so these are the risks that are involved with opening a new optimization farm. Yep. And having a pre-sale on a token. Um, we've all seen it before, and we're going to take a little bit of time to talk about. If you haven't seen it before, I'm going to kind of explain to you what, why they have this kind of system. Okay, first we have the huge problem with any farm that can launch. We have the idea of a botted launch. The token gets grabbed by bots and algorithms, and the buy sell pressure is not natural by people. It's done by machines, yeah, and programs. Generally, what happens is the the value of the token spikes crazy very quickly, but before people can really profit off this, it then dumps horribly, okay? Usually it will dump below the price of the pre-sale. This would be a botted launch. Another term that I'm sure you've all heard of would be pump and dump. Generally, this means that there are some holders of the token which have a higher percentage who continue to buy up more tokens. While they are buying, the price is going up insanely, yeah? This is 50, 100, 300% pumps up. While this is happening, the general investor sees what's happening. They want to get in on this. They think, oh, wow, you know, I'm going to get rich too. So they grab some tokens. Little do they know that just as they have bought the token, the big bag holders of it just completely release all their tokens, dumping the price. Pumped and dumped, which means the general investor, you and me, we have not managed to profit from our purchase of the token. We didn't even get to use the token because the value of the token is now almost zero. This is very common with tokens and also farmable reward tokens can also be a huge problem. So what is YSL doing to protect itself from this not happening? The linear lock we spoke about, okay? The linear lock meaning that the pre-sale tokens that you do get, you will not get them all at once. You will get them over a certain block period. Uh, the earlier you bought in the pre-sale, the linear lock period is longer. Yeah, could be 750 days, could be 150 days. Your tokens are locked, gradually given to you per block. Minted token lock. You are farming, you are being minted, SYSL token. You will not be able to harvest and sell all of them as soon as you want. Okay, there is a 90 day lock on your SYSL tokens that you are farming. You are again giving your tokens per block. So you will gradually be able to use your tokens. Also, there is a referral program for YSL. I speak about this again in the first video. Essentially, the referral program will give you uh, more yield, okay? Which means that you'll be able to farm more tokens because of your referral extra yield that you get, okay? More farming power. But the referral commission lock is also 90 days, meaning that your referral bonuses will be slowly unlocked too. This is protecting the farm and protecting the token from people who just want to dump the token. They have no interest in holding the token. They just want to dump, 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 dump. They can't. I mean, they can, but they slowly can. <laughs> you can slowly sell off your tokens if you want to because it is gradually being put into your balance. But the great thing about this just like the lock on your price discovery tokens, you can stake your lock tokens in the vault, generating more tokens. So there is a use case for them. They're not just sitting there without anything to do, which I, I think is a great idea. I've been in way too many farms where people, the sell pressure is just way too high. And, I've, and as the price begins to dip on the token, more people start to sell because they think, oh, if I hold on to this token, it's not going to be worth anything. But with this lock system, People can gradually sell, meaning that even if everybody is selling, the sell pressure is not as high as if it would be if they were able to sell all of the tokens at once. Everything is being checked and balanced, okay? So that no one person or no one whale has more power than, than other people, okay? Another problem that can happen in the launch of a yield optimizer would be low liquidity, okay? As the liquidity for the project gets low, even selling off your farm tokens becomes a challenge because the liquidity is not enough to get the transaction through. Low liquidity can kill a farm. What is liquidity? Liquidity would be a collection of funds locked in a smart contract. The user adds an equal value of tokens, for example, $1,000, then they need another $1,000. You provide liquidity generally into MMAs, uh, such as PancakeSwap or ApeSwap, then you receive some LP tokens. These LP tokens are proof of ownership of your pair, of the two separate assets that are in your pair. 
You can then redeem these LP tokens at any point to get your individual tokens separated back. So then, what is locked liquidity? Because that is what YSL has. It has locked liquidity. Locked liquidity is LP tokens locked in an AMM for a set time. For example, locked into PancakeSwap, locked into ApeSwap. This is anti-rug and anti-exit scam because nobody can get their hands on these tokens. They cannot be removed by the team. They cannot be removed by the AMM. They cannot be re removed by anybody. This adds assurance and legitimacy to the project. It is quite popular now in crypto. Before a project is locked, they will lock the liquidity. Sometimes they lock for 30 days. Sometimes they lock for six months. And this is exactly what YSL is doing. It does have locked liquidity. So YSL, BUSD, the stable coin of the Binance Smart Chain, auto lock liquidity. This uses ApeSwap. ApeSwap is an AMM and it does have a feature called lock smart contract. So it's leveraging ApeSwap to lock its liquidity. The time on the YSL lock is 1000 years. If we go back to the, the idea of the price discovery, the 100% equivalent value of the price discovery is immediately locked. So whatever the number of dollar value, BUSD value of this price sale is, that will be what the immediate lock on the auto lock liquidity is. There are 10 other ways in which lock liquidity will be added to this pair. So this pair is ever growing. Such things as the purchase of the YSL, SYSL, and AOS YSL tokens. There's an ape swap trading fee reward. There is fee, there are fees on the optimization strategies. There are fees on the withdrawals and a fee on the transfer from the YSL BUSC vault to the token deposit. So all of these fees on purchases and transfers, yeah, balance transfers, they all add to this liquidity too. It is an ever-growing pair. They have run a series of different uh, predictions on what could happen in different markets, okay? In a bull market or a bear market, in a sell-off market, in a panic market, what will happen to the lot auto lot liquidity? Of course, it will never be pool. It's locked for a thousand years. But how will the how will the value of the lock liquidity manage in all these different scenarios? And pairing up the eleven ways in which these mechanisms generate liquidity, that is important for us because we are farming the SYSL token. The SYSL token, remember, is completely one hundred percent pegged to the value of the BUSD. YSL liquidity that is locked. So these 11 ways to build and generate liquidity are very important, very essentially important to the success of this platform. I will link the site in the description and you can have a look at the generated, the predictions, the, the models that they have created for these different scenarios and you can have a look at what they predict to happen. Interesting enough, in every single one of their models, the platform is successful in holding or generating value for its lot liquidity. If you are into maths, if you're a little bit of a maths whiz, here we have, here's a little bit of a calculation here. So SYSLP, that would be the SYSL price, equals X minus L divided by 100,000 plus I. <laughs> so let's try and figure this out. YSL have really gone above and beyond to run all these different models on what will happen once this is launched. So this is how we figure out the price, the price of the SYSL token. This is what I means at the end there. So how does the locked liquidity, the amount of locked liquidity, the action with those 11 ways of adding to the LP, how does this affect and make the price of our reward token, the SYSL? So from this equation, we can see that the price of the YSL token is correlated with the sum total of locked liquidity held within the liquidity pool, the locked liquidity pool. Given that the formation of YSL BUSD locked liquidity is positively correlated with protocol utilization and demand, so too is the price of the reward token SYSL. In other words, as YSL demand and utilization increases, the locked liquidity held within the YSL BUSD pool will increase which leads to the price appreciation of SYSL and consequential reduction in the number of SYSL tokens required to be minted. 
as more people come into the farm because it is opening in the first month, this means that the price of SYSL token is going to rise. This is their model. This is what this is saying. This is what they are predicting to happen with the price of SYSL, the price of our reward token. So I, I, I urge you to get online, head over to the website and check this all out for yourself. Read through the document sections. Check out my first video so you can understand more on how you can use the three tokens on this platform to get yield, what it is, how to generate yield, how to use their vaults, all of this juicy information. And I'll just end this by, you know, this is a lot of facts and figures that have been sent out today, but then we also have the audit, the security audit between YSL and their first audit is now released. You can have a look at it. They passed it with flying colors. It is by Solidity Finance. Some interesting points that YSL did put out on their Medium post are that they are planning to get four more audits. And after the point where they do get the fourth audit, so a total of five audits, then they will share the code for their platform. Before that, they're not going to share the code. Their point to not share the code would be, for example, we take a farm that opened recently on the Binance Smart Chain, uh, Panther, Panther Swap. I don't know if you remember that. They created, because YSL is not a fork, yeah? They are a new platform. They have created this platform from scratch. If they made their code open source, that would mean that any other farm could take YSL and fork it, which they don't mention that they have a problem with. It's crypto, everything gets forked eventually. But what they are worried about is, for example, what happened with Panther, where there were problems with the code inside Panther and they released it open source. Then you got other farms such as Garuda Swap opened using Panther, their fork Panther. But the errors in the code in Panther Swap meant that it did get hacked and the token price was complete. It was compromised and the token price for the, the Panther farm crashed, meaning that then they realized, hey, great, Garuda is a fork. So then that crashed and a lot of people lost a lot of money. YSL have said they will not release an open source code for people to try and fork this until they get five audits, which will be about six months to 12 months down the line. For me, myself, my personal opinion on this, I think this is great because it means that there will not be a bunch of copy farms where people will be immediately leaving this one to get into the new one, which of course will have high APYs at the start because a new farm always has the highest APYs. They will not be able to find anything like this anywhere else. So they will have to stay in YSL using it, adding to the lock liquidity, helping keep the token price healthy or even the token price going up, the reward token. And you know, what I always want is a stable price on my reward token. If it can just stay the same, that's great because it means that you are buying some, you have the, you, you trust it enough that you can use it to, to farm higher yields. You can use it in other platforms sometimes, and you don't worry that it's going to dump to zero overnight. You know, I'm always looking for something that's stable, well thought out, yeah, reliable, audited, trustworthy. And if you go through YSL and check out all these docs, and start to consider, is it worth getting into the price discovery for this token, okay? To get a better price on it, because that's what we want. Yeah, pre-sales are great for getting a better price, but not if you are planning on just buying this and then dumping it immediately as the pre-sale is over. This is not the farm for you. <laughs> you have to have a long-term, long-term thought process on this, okay? This is a long play and it will be if you do it in the right way, it will be extremely profitable for you. So a couple things to show you. If you go to YSL.io, you will be put onto the landing page here where uh, as of recording this video, the private sale is running. I'm waiting for the public sale to start and you will find this here. Uh, the, the most important thing for you to find and look at would be here and you can join their Twitter, get on their Telegram to ask immediate questions. And we have here the Medium and the Gitbook. The Medium is very good for having bite-sized broken down information on this platform so you can slowly digest it. And the Gitbook is great for finding particular points which you're not quite sure about. For example, as I was telling you about the lock liquidity pool, you can go into here and get through all the information. Here you have the 11 different ways that they do lock the liquidity. 
and they go through each one in detail. Price discovery phase, which you are considering possibly getting into, then we do have an extremely in-depth breakdown of the, how they're going to figure out the initial price of the SYSL YSL token, the initial supply of the token, the token allocation, how much you're going to get. This is all mathematically broken down. And after price discovery, how they're going to figure out the token price. This is the equation that we were going through earlier. They run a lot of Ask Me Anythings AMAs, which you can go back and look through to help you if there's anything you're stuck on. Also, feel free to message me. You can join my Telegram announcement channel. I have recently opened a Telegram chat channel too, where you can also get in touch directly with me. You can email me, you can tweet me, you can send in the comments for YouTube. If you have any questions about this, I'm happy to help you to try and understand it. It did take me a long time to get this, okay? It's not a simple platform, but this is why I'm, I'm really, really bullish on it because it's great. If you are a little bit daunted by that much information and going through it all, or maybe you're new to this and you it's too much, then you can also check out their Medium uh, here where they have broken down everything into easier to digest pieces. Uh, the latest article is on the, the audit that we just talked about. Then we have big part one, two, and three. So one is on the liquidity farming. Yeah, the vault. We were talking about liquidity today, so you can check that out. So part two is about the optimization. How are they going to guarantee higher yield than other AMMs that are also offering farming rewards? And part three, how can you get even higher yield? Okay, and they break it all down into easy to understand blocks, which for a newer person in the crypto space, this is a great resource for you to also check out. Of course, as with all of my videos, this is not financial advice. This is me giving you information, a little bit of entertainment on choices that you make on your own. Yep. Win these on your own, lose them on your own. If this is something, if this pre-sale price discovery is something that you are interested in getting into, read through everything very carefully. Do not FOMO in. Yeah. Do not jump in regardless of any information. Think about it clearly, understand it clearly, and then get in. Uh, I personally am getting into this, as I said before. So you will see a lot more content on YSL once it has launched and I will start using the farm and sharing my, my success, hopeful success with this platform. Watch out for my third video where I will be getting into the pre-sale and probably videos in the future where I will be using this farm. Great. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Don't get wrecked.